Guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, I want to look at the DC Comics or the DC Unlimited Flash figure. Now, this is the new 52 design for him. A couple of new things for the figure compared to the original Flash figure, but overall, it's the same thing. I'll go over all that in detail. Uh, first thing to note is that he's got the sculpted chest piece right there. That's new, and the head is new. Otherwise, the body's... No, oh, I'm sorry, and the boots. Forgot to mention that. The boots are new. Otherwise, the body is a generic, blank DC Universe Classics figure. So nothing special there. He does come with the lightning stuff that goes on his back that we originally got from the Superman Blue and Red. This is like a really faint yellow. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to come off or not, but mine popped off without trying so I think it probably is supposed to it does leave a nasty looking gap in his back though so that's not the best one thing to note even though it has the bat or the Superman shape back there it doesn't have the S sculpted in so I'm really glad that they removed that personally I'm not a big fan of this fire lightning energy effect stuff that they keep using the same one over and over again for I think they probably should have just molded a new one that actually looks like the effects that are on the packaging and in the comics I don't care for this too much. He does also have the forearm pieces that we've seen multiple times. So nothing special there. They don't stay on particularly well. You might be able to reshape them a little bit with some hot water, but overall it's an un unimpressive feature. And I would much rather not have the hole in the back and not have those accessories at all and maybe use the uh, use that money to go towards some better mold work for him. He should definitely have some details in the suit. Another thing I want to point out is the reds don't match. The arms are a different shade than the torso. It's not as bad in person as it is on camera, but it's not great in person either. So if you're seeing that, then it is something to note. The paintwork is relatively good, I have to say. He's got the yellow lines all over the place, and they're fairly well done. Really nothing stands out as being a problem for me. I'm okay with that. The tops of the boots do have a little bit of overspray or bleeding, so that is a problem for me. And then the face looks normal as it always does. Decent paintwork. As far as articulation goes, the head is on a standard DC Universe Classics ball joint. It does have the two positions, so you can give them to look up a little bit and down just a little bit. And of course, full rotation. Standard ball disc shoulders, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and wrist rotation. Ab crunch as normal. It's really tight though, so I don't know what's up with that. This new batch of figures, their joints are all kind of really tight and kind of weird. This doesn't have any ratcheting, which I don't think it's supposed to, but it feels like it wants to ratchet, so I'm not sure about that. Standard waist twist, standard DC Universe Classics hips forward and back, side to side with the thigh swivel, which is also stuck. Is this one stuck too? No, it's not. And you can see here that the bottom parts of the legs are a different shade from the upper parts. So, again, weird plastic. I don't, I don't get what's up with that. And then he's got the single jointed ankles. So, is this a good figure? Eh, it's an okay figure. There's nothing special about it. Paint works okay. Uh, I don't think you're going to be impressed with it when you get it. It looked like it was going to be a lot better than it ended up being. Why are we not focusing? There we go. So, I can't say I recommend it necessarily. If you like the Flash, then go ahead and get it. It's not horrible, it'll look okay on a shelf, but under any sort of scrutiny, you're going to be pretty unimpressed. So, there it is, guys. There's the new 52 DC Comics Unlimited Flash figure. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the figure in the comment section below, and I think you should probably stay tuned for some more figure reviews and more custom figures. And, of course, in the meantime, keep collecting.